welcome to Tiernanog. I'm Elizabeth and today's adventure is changing this potting shed into a chicken coop. Here's the potting shed. It has lots of vents and it's got power right here. So we have been using it both as storage for all of the feed and for the baby chicks. So we have baby chicks, the last of them that we hatched are down here. And they are soon to be ready to go out. And then we are going to clean up all the potting stuff and put in some roosts. This post up here is not attached, but that's part of the plan. And turn this into a chicken coop. And the big girls are ready. Hey, little red hen. So here are all the parts for the project. Um, they are sitting on my son's project, actually that big Metal ring is part of the fire pit he and his brother are building. Um, we have two two by twos. Let's see if I can step back here so you can see those, which I have cut at an angle on the bottom so that it will rest nicely on the floor. It's about a 45 degree angle. Then we have the three <coughs> excuse me dowels, which are just basic closet doweling. Uh, you can get it at any hardware store. One of them was a salvaged piece. The this one, the one that's a little bit bigger, was left over from some construction project somewhere. As were the two by twos. Uh, we have the drill and a tape measure and a pencil because I like to mark where all my parts are going to go. So this is pretty basic stuff and doesn't really require any super skills. I have pre-drilled holes in all the parts because I find it makes it easier to get screws in straight so you can see where I pre-drilled a hole in the end here. And now I'm gonna go get the screws and put the roost together. Okay, I am attaching the posts on one side and then I'll attach them on the other side. This is hardwood and so these are kind of hard to screw in. But like I said, I pre-drilled them so that does make it simpler. Um, and they were all measured to be about two feet apart. We should give enough room for the chickens to roost in between. And so we'll just attach the other, other side here in a second. This is a really simple way to make a chicken roost. And then for the nest boxes, I am going to See if I can recycle a set of shelves and make that into the nest boxes for the chickens. And that will go on the other side where the potting bench was. And that went pretty good. And now the other side. When you do this, you do want to make sure that those angles that you cut are going the same direction. So you don't have one angled this way and the other one angled the other direction. So when you lean it up against the wall, it will sit nice and flush. All right, well, we got the big one done. Now we're going to attach the one that goes up above because chickens like to be up high and there is no place for them to roost up in the rafters in here. However, we can put a bar across the top so that they have extra space up there. So I have these little brackets um, and they will hold up the uh, bar that's going to go across the top up here. So I'm going to attach that next. Okay, now we have the roosts installed. The top roost, which is held down by the two clamps on top, is nice and sturdy so it won't go anywhere. And the big one that I built out in the front is now installed. You can see that I have put it on bicycle hooks in my old chicken coop. We had one that sat up against the wall and even though we had angled both the top and bottom boards, um, it occasionally, when the bedding on the floor was fresh, would slide, and um, that was very disturbing to the chickens. So, this way, it will not go anywhere. And the chickens have tons of space to roost, and I can lift it up off the bicycle hook so that I can clean out the floor underneath. When I have moved the little guys, who are kind of unhappy at me for 
making so much racket in here today. Um, then I will go ahead and put down all the new flooring in here, all of the um, wood chips. I'm going to use uh, wooden chips this time rather than straw, which is what I used before because I think that it will be um, easier to clean up. And also straw is generally um, been sprayed with uh, herbicides. So I feel like that's probably a safer bet. And so these little guys are almost done in here. They are all roosters <laughs> and part of a breeding program that I was working on. I don't think I will keep all three of them though. I'll probably only keep two. And then I'm going to, I had thought originally that I would put the nest boxes over on this side. And in fact, I may do some up on the bench over here, but I really kind of, after getting the uh, roost installed, feel like this wall over here will probably be the best place to put it. Um, as big as this chicken coop is, it's hard to get far enough away from the wall, but I think I will probably set the nest box boxes along this wall because it will be easier for me to access when I come in. And I will keep all of the feed in the corner where it lives already, which is over here. Uh, the big can is the big chicken feed. And then there's, um, I have pig feed over here, which needs to go into a garbage can. The garbage cans with nice tight fitting lids prevent rodents from getting into the feed. I try to feed only enough for one day so that we don't have um, extra feed that attracts any unwanted critters in here. Although this chicken fortress is really built pretty well and it has um, hardware cloth all the way around the outside of it, quite a long way out. So it's pretty hard to get in here, although I would not ever say a rodent couldn't do it. Who's the cooker? Who's the cooker? So. I hope that you enjoyed it today and I'm glad you joined us. Um, I hope all your chickens have a happy roost. <laughs> this is the little red hen and I saying goodbye.